Hello, it's April 17th, 2021, and this is the first look at the trailer. I've got the windows just, I know they're not exactly square and all that, but the, 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 the trailer's not up squared yet, not up level, but I, I went ahead, ahead and laid out where the windows, inside and outside, and what the floor plan looks like just as a first check. So let's just walk in from the back here. And the first thing you'll see, as you look on the floor here, right in here is going to be where the big battery box is. It's 200 pounds, um, 48 volt, 272 amp hour, 13 kilowatt power supply. There's one of the windows and right here. Now this here will be behind a cabinet in a cabinet. This is the uh, solar controller, which I'll show you in the other room. I've got it all set up now. Uh, this other side of the trailer where we've got windows on this side, we've got a window here and a window here and up, up above is the uh, head unit for the split system, split uh, air conditioning. This right here will be uh, where the uh, kitchen sink and all will be. And as we walk forward here, you see this radius deal. This is where the shower will be. So as we enter in this way, as we enter in this way, uh, we come into the bathroom. And the bathroom will have a sink here, shower here, and a necessary place there. I like those trones that are sold by Ikea. Put one a couple double stack here just inside the door that will allow uh, us to easily access things. And then inside of the shower area, there also will be another double stack of trones here. They're kind of a shoe storage thing, but we can use them for uh, towels and things too. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in the bathroom now and then I'll turn around and let you see it from the other way. I had to leave that a full eight foot. It's given me a little extra room for the motorcycles there because we call it a toy hauler. So we've got a window here up over the sink, a couple windows towards the back. And then this may be hard to see as we swing around but in the door here, and I'll go to the outside. In the door, there'll also be a window. You see it here. And we'll take a quick walk over to the solar controller. It's already set up. You can see the, it's been fully operational for several weeks now. We've got the two solar panels on the roof. There'll be a total of four on the trailer. And this is the solar controller now. It's fully operational, 13 kilowatt and a massive battery. That panel will uh, be on the wall and swing on one of the walls inside there. So that's about it. Jim Cassidy and uh, having a good time here. It is April 30th, 2021, and I've taken the floor out on the trailer. I'm measuring where I'm going to be placing the three tanks. I'm trying to assess whether I can fit one other small tank up front for the uh, gray water. I've got 40 gallons capacity of fresh water, only 20 gallons capacity for gray water. I'd like to get another 10 gallons. I've messed with, thought with the idea of using a piece of eight inch pipe for a supplemental tank, but uh, it's not coming out well. So I'm gonna look and see what they have for 10 gallon tanks, if I can get something about eight inches deep. But that should be the placement. It's gonna be a little bit uh, tight on one of the axle areas to dodge it, but uh, we're keeping it from being too deep by the tanks only being eight inches. I'll get a view from the bottom side. The front tank, I want to be up higher because of the uh, 
you know, the, just the way the trailer is pulled and it may go over bumps. The center two tanks are right over the axle, so there's less likely it'll be hidden anyway. But that's why we're raising the front floor up to get that tank up. And let me show you from the underside here what we look like. If you look closely, you can see that these tanks are above the axles. They're sitting about four inches below the bottom of the trailer, but they're right over the axle area, which means that they will be able to clear most things. Even when the axles come up, you've got quite a lot of distance of travel there. So that's where I'm at. Placement of tanks. So we're gonna have to do some calculating and plumbing. Very good. It is May 3rd, 2021, and I wanted to show you all a little bit of the process of setting these tanks in the right place. This is a, a mat that people purchase to uh, walk on, keep it under their feet, like in a high traffic area. It's about a half inch thick. That's what I'm using to dampen a little bit of the uh, bumps just up underneath the tank. So uh, I'll just show you a little bit of this tank. This is a 20 gallon tank. There's three of these and then one 15 gallon tank. And uh, each tank uh, gets set below the floor here in the trailer. And this just shows you a little bit about what has to go into it. Here is a uh, leveling, leveling strip. It's an electronic strip that measures the height of the water water in the tank and below uh, and a lot of people don't do this but hey may as well do it while i'm doing it and that's put a heat heater on the bottom of the tank just in case it's ever really in cold weather it'll be available to me and this is uh wanted to show you how the setup is on the tr tanks and how the strength is it's from the unistrut and there's a quarter inch bolt that goes through the frame and then uh, uses a coupler type nut. Maybe you can see it up underneath there. It's a little, little tough to see, but uh, yeah, right there. And it comes down through the frame and then into the unistrut. And then I've sealed this board. This is a real good waterproof stain, half inch chipboard. And the tank sits on top of that. And, uh, Then the uh, rubberized cushion goes underneath, goes between the tank and this board. You can see the one tank that is set is the gray water tank, which is right here. And you can see the uh, outflow that'll be from it. It also has a heater on it, and it also has a strip on it. You can see it there for seeing the level of it. And this unistrut here, in the front is for the 15 gallon tank that will go in front of this 20 gallon. Give me a total uh, capacity of 35 gallons for the gray water. No black water, just gray water. And uh, 40 gallons for the fresh water. You can always add some fresh water. If you'll see here, there's um, some jacks that have been mounted here to uh, accommodate the uh, leveling of the trailer. Quite a lot of uh, work has gone into these, and the main stabilizing bolts come up through a two by six that's all treated, and then it has these very massive uh, bracket brackets here that are screwed well into here, and then one side of the uh, stabilizer actually is bolted straight through this uh, metal bracing. And I'm going to show you the underside of that. Maybe you can see it. So that's what we got. And we'll continue on. Setting the water tanks and gray tanks. It's May 8th, 2021. 
and I've finished most of the plumbing on the tanks that go under the, I finished all the plumbing on the tanks that go under the flooring. And I'm doing a water test now. I'm filling up these tanks, I'm giving you a good look at the uh, piping and just how I've done it. You'll see a vent pipe there, which is the blue. The insulated is coming off the bottom. It's a half inch that'll go to the pump. And the inch and a quarter uh, going into both tanks is for the uh, filling of the tanks. So we'll just kind of see how that goes here. While I'm doing that, just give you a view of it. Before I insulate the tanks, because once I start insulating the tanks, it'll be hard to see some of this. You can see the heater wire coming off of each tank. It's on the belly of each tank. Unistrut is holding up three sections of Unistrut in each tank. And also you'll see on each end of the tank here where we have a, there's a measuring gauge that will tell us the height of the water in each tank. So that's good. I've also done a uh, test for the shower pan. I wanted to see just how it would set on the elevated floor. These are just temporary walls here I've set up. You can see where my tools are sitting on top of that tank there. You can also see the uh, legs that are underneath the trailer for leveling. You won't be able to see those easily once the flooring gets in place. Here's a valve for each one. Of, each tank has a valve individually going to the pump. If there's any imbalance in the pumping from the tanks, I'll be able to adjust that. And I uh, just wanted to show you what we've done here for strengthening up the uh, fill the uh, drain for the uh, sewer or gray tanks. You can see that uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a half coming into the top of that tank is for the sink that goes in the front. This Y bend here, sanitary Y, is going to the shower, which I'm holding in my hand now. And then this 90 here will go towards the sink that sits in this area. I'm gonna lower this back down. This sets pretty straight as far as on where that sanitary Y is going into the tank. Everything is good and substantial here. So I don't think it's going anywhere. But I wanna insulate all of this. And once I insulate it, you won't be able to see all the work that's gone into it and then put the floor in too. So things are going well. Looks like the uh, water fill is going well too. So I'm gonna go take a look at that. Let me just take a quick look and show you where the dump valve is over on the other side. It's for just gray water only. Let me take a look up underneath here. <laughs> you can see where we used Unistrut straps to fasten things in place. So it's very substantial. Now this gray tank is not being filled now. So this is not a problem to open this. But you can see how it opens and it's very stout. Very rigidly mounted with this Unistrut strap right here. Lots of strapping to keep things in place. And this gives you a good view of how the tanks are mounted up underneath with the Unistrut. Double nuts on everything and lock washers. So everything's firmly in place. Also gives you a little bit of an idea of the height. Everything is up at least 12 inches, so that's good news. There we go.